The encrypting file system, or EFS, allows us to use built-in encryption to encrypt files and folders in a Windows Server or client. I'm on the C drive of a Windows Server, and I've created a folder called Encrypt. And inside that folder, there's a file called Test. And it says, this is a test when I open it up. I'm going to go back to the root of my C drive and right-click on my C drive and choose Properties. The first thing I'm going to do is go over to where it says Advanced. I'll click on that, and I'm going to choose the Encrypt Contents to Secure Data. Notice the Details button to the right is grayed out. After I apply this, we'll be able to go back in, and we'll be able to click on that Details button and make changes, or at least take a look and see what's happened. I'll click OK, and I'm going to click Apply. When I click Apply, it asks me if I want to just apply the changes to the folder or to the folder, subfolders, and files. I would like to apply this to all the different things. If I just chose the folder only, then the files inside would not be encrypted. And if that's what you'd like to do, that's fine too. So I'll click OK, and then I'll click Apply. I'm going to go back into Advanced and take a look. The Details button is now lit up. And you can see a couple of different certificates. The first one is my user certificate. That certificate is used to encrypt and decrypt files. Then there's the recovery certificate. This is the certificate that's used in case my certificate that's under the user section becomes corrupt or gets accidentally deleted. And I've seen that happen, say, on a Windows update. It's gone ahead and deleted all the various different certificates that the users had, and we had to use the recovery certificates to be able to see that data. I'm going to click OK, OK again, and now what I want to do is I want to go into the Microsoft Management Console and take a look at the certificates. So I'm going to go from a command prompt and just type in, as you see here, MMC for Microsoft Management Console. Once I'm in the MMC, I'm going to go to File and Add Remove Snap-in. Snap-ins are various different services that we can go and look all in a single application. I'm going to choose the certificate option, and in this case, I'd like to use my user certificate because this is a user certificate, rephrase. And in this case, I'd like to use my user certificate because this is a user certificate for EFS. I'll click Finish and click OK. I'm going to expand certificates, personal. And here we can see that there was a certificate that was automatically created for the encrypting file system. And that was created as soon as I had encrypted that folder. There may also be other certificates in the certificates folder as well, which you can ignore for now. They may be for various different types of services, such as a smart card logon. I'm going to go back to the folder and take a look. When I double click on the folder, it may be a little bit difficult to see, but the file itself has a little lock on it. It's a little yellow lock on it. Now, if I double click on it, I can still log into it, but I'm going to sign out and sign in as a different user, and I should no longer be able to access that file because it's encrypted and the permissions are only set for the administrator. I'm now logging in as the test one user, and I'm going to open up File Explorer and go to the encrypt folder and just confirm that I cannot get into this file. You can see there's a little lock on the encrypt folder as well. And if I double click on it and then try to open up any files inside, it says you do not have permission to open this file. The solution to this is either to decrypt the file simply by right clicking and going back and unchecking the box to encrypt the contents, but I'd have to do that as the administrator, or just to add in the test one user into the allowed groups of users that can access this file in the encryption section. EFS is a great way to encrypt files and folders in your Windows servers and clients.